I'm going to go through this very quickly. Open up Microsoft Excel. Now, once you've opened it up in your spreadsheet, go over to the Developer tab. We're going to insert two form controls. One form control will be a checkbox, the other will be a list box. So, once you're in the Developer tab, you click on that and then move to the row underneath that and you'll see an insert button that's directly up underneath the data tab. The insert drop down menu, click on that. It has a wrench, a hammer over a toolbox. Once you click on it, it'll open up the form controls. The very top row is what we want. We want the third control and the fifth control. And as you can see, I have two uh, uh, red check marks over both of those. So, click on the check box first so that it inserts into your spreadsheet. Then go through those steps again so that you click on the list box so that the list box will also be inserted into your spreadsheet. Now that that's done, let's move on. First one we're going to go to is your checkbox. In the checkbox, click inside the checkbox and type in happy. Okay, once that's done, now right mouse uh, button click on the checkbox and it'll, you want to go down to the bottom and choose format. Once you do that, format control box will open up. In the cell link, you want to click on the icon next at the end, uh, the right end of the cell link uh, field and it'll open up. Once it opens up, click on cell A1. Then click on that icon to the right again so that it populates the cell link field with A1. Or you can just type it in there, but it's best to do it that way. Once you do that, make certain that the value, the value you have radio buttons that says unchecked, checked, and mixed. Make certain that checked is uh, checked. Once that's done, press the OK button. All right, now we're going to move on to your um, list box. Right now you have an empty list box, so what we want to do is we want to fill that with the names that we have in cells J2 through J4. J2 is Nancy, J3 is Jim, J4 is Terry. Okay, so what we want to do is right mouse button click on the list box. Go down to the bottom, format controls. Okay, now it opens up for you though. Format control box, the list box opens up for you. The input range will be the names that I just called off J2 through J4. So click on the icon to the far right of the input range field. Then select cells J2 through J4. Then click the uh, icon at the far right again so that it populates the input range automatically. So once you do that you should see J2 through J4 in that box. Now we want a link cell. The link cell field, click on the icon to the right of that field and then click in cell B1. Once you do that, click on the icon at the far right again so that it populates the, link, uh, the cell link with B1. Once that's done, make certain that the selection type is single. You have single, multiple, or extend. Uh, we want single. Once you do that, click the OK button. Okay? Now, we have everything we need to actually get started with the formula. Now it's time to write a formula. I already have a formula in uh, A cell A8, but I've also typed that same formula in A9, and I clicked in it so you can see what it looks like. You can use VLOOKUP, you can use OFFSET. There are many different uh, um, formulas that you can use to actually pull data. We're going to use the OFFSET formula. Okay. Notice that we have cell J1 is empty, and that's good because the offset needs there to be 
uh, an empty cell? Well, it depends on how you write the formula. But in this case, we're going to write the formula as follow. In cell A9, type this formula, equal symbol, offset, O-F-F-S-E-T. Begin your parentheses. Now, click in cell J1. Then, type a comma. Then, click in cell B1. Type a comma. Now, we don't want to go to uh, a new column. So, type 0 there. Because in the J column, we don't want to go to another column. We want to stay in J. Okay, the offset formula works like this. It has five criteria. The first one is, what is the starting point? J1 is going to be the starting point. We want to choose, now it wants to know how many rows down from the starting point do we want. Well, we don't need to worry about that because we've already populated the list box with a linking cell. It, we've linked it to the range J2 through J4. And we've also linked it to um, cell B1. So we don't really need to worry about that. Just click on cell B1 uh, and it'll populate in there for the second criteria. The third criteria is how many columns do we want to go move over? We don't want to move any columns. We want to stay in cell uh, in column J. So it's zero. Because J1 is where we want our uh, starting location for the offset formula. Since we're already in column J, that's where we want to stay. So it's zero for the third criteria. The fourth and the fifth criteria, uh, the fourth criteria is for uh, enlarging or making smaller the width, I'm sorry, the height of the cell. We don't want that. We want to stay at the default. The default for the height is one. The default for width is also one, so um, four and five is going to be a one. So we should have offset parentheses J1 comma B1 comma zero comma J. I'm sorry, let me start over. We should have equal offset comma J1 comma B1 comma zero comma one comma one close parentheses. Now we want to concatenate that, which means to combine that to a text string. Because we want, we don't want to have to write anything. We want, uh, we want our um, farm controls to do the work for us. So now we want to put an and symbol. Then we want no spaces. We want a quote, space, and then the word is, then a space, then close your quote. And then another AND symbol without any spaces. Now we want one more formula. We want to combine one more formula, which is called when you use Microsoft Word or Excel. Uh, it's going to be called concatenating formulas and text strings and um, cell locations. So this cell, this is going to be an if else statement. It's going to read if begin parentheses click on cell A1 equals between quotes type the word true comma and between quotes for this type happy comma between quotes type not happy close parentheses and that's the end of it so basically the offset formula at the very beginning will work in conjunction with the list box. Then, of course, you have that connected to a, a text string. The word is is. And then the last and ending part of this, it's called a mega formula, is another formula, which is an if-else statement. And the if-else statement will work in conjunction with the, the checkbox. Whenever the checkbox is checked, it will read happy. If it's not checked, it will read not happy. Because remember, if a checkbox is checked, 
in cell A1, it will automatically have the statement true. If it's unchecked, it will be false. So that's why the formula says if cell A1 equals true, then happy. If it doesn't say true, then it will be not happy. So let's say if we didn't check that box and we selected the name Terry, the statement would read, Terry is not happy. Now let's say we check the box and we selected Nancy from the list box. It would read, Nancy is happy. And that is basically how this whole thing works when you um, use form controls. Thanks. Take care.